Hi everyone, hope you're good. I'm very happy to be back today. I know I've been gone for a while and I have a lot to talk about in this video so I need to finish my update from the last year's project plan and then I need to introduce the stuff in this year's project plan. I might also briefly talk about my no buy at the end of the video even though there's not much to say. As I said in my last video which I just watched because I couldn't remember what went down in that and I was also wearing the same clothes. Anyways, but as I said, I was so busy with college then and I got even more busy, so that's why there was no updates. And even now, I'm on break and I'm filming this like 10 days late, so I'm so sorry about that. I really wanted to get it filmed soon and I also wanted to pre-film a lot of videos for the next semester so that I had uploads. I have a lot of exciting uploads planned, so I'm going to be doing an inventory video next and then I think next month I will be doing a collection video. But finally, let's recap on the 2022 products. So the ones I don't have now are ones that I finished. So the Innisfree powder, I finished that in November. I don't think I took a picture of like where the progress was at. I'll put a screenshot in or where it was in October and then I guess you can estimate. I'm sorry. I was just very bad with taking pictures. Then the Katja Gloss shot, I finished that in December. So the stuff that I still have now. The e.l.f. setting spray. Okay, I made crazy progress on this in December. And you can see I've actually used a bit since I did mark these on the 31st of December, thinking that I would film it like the 1st of December, but of course I didn't. So I've actually still used a bit since then. And the reason why it's so much in December was because I had a hair emergency and I needed to use this. But I know there's alcohol in this, so maybe don't use this in your hair. If you suffer with dry hair, don't use this. So there's actually a good lot of progress, more than halfway down through the bottle. And I've grown to like this more. I still wouldn't set my makeup with it. I just spray it before my makeup to make my face more hydrated. I actually noticed I didn't use it the past few days and my skin looks so much more dry. So I think it actually does do a good job of hydrating. Then the Fenty Ease Drops. This month, again, I used more of this. I guess I've just been wearing more makeup. And I did shake this and just use this a few minutes ago, so I can't see where it's settled. I feel like it could be even lower than now in the past, since the past 10 days of January. But this is what it's looking like, so decent progress. The most exciting part of the recap of 2022 Project Pam is the Can Make Cream Cheek. I literally just finished this right now. I didn't even clean it out. And I know, again, this happened in the October project plan. I did go heavy handed on blush then. I did it again today. I just, there was such a tiny bit left. I really wanted to just finish it for the update. You might think, oh, did I put off filming this update until I finished this blush? Maybe subconsciously I did. That's everything for the recap on the 2022 project plan. So the things carrying over are the Ease drops and the e.l.f. setting spray. Okay, and I'm actually very excited about this year's project plan. I'm gonna start with this e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I really, really like this. I just kind of want to track the progress on it. I'm not gonna be, you know, rushing or speeding through. I mean, I try not to do that with everything. I try to use everything fairly, I suppose. I marked this a few days ago, so the marking might not be accurate. It is down lower, but the thing is, I did mark this and then it went above it and now it's below it, so. It's kind of hard to get it to settle evenly, but it's about there anyways. Next, I'm going to be putting in the Fenty bronzer. I have the shade Shady Biz. This is just their powder bronzer. I much prefer this over the cream bronzer. I love this way more. So that's what it's looking like. There is, I think you can kind of see the outline of the pan. Oh, I'm not sure how close I am at all to hitting pan on this, but I love this so much. It's so much easier than the cream bronzer, in my opinion. And the tone of this works really well on my skin. Okay, next, I think... You probably guessed it, but I'm putting in the Kami Cream Cheek in 16 Almond Terracotta. I'm very excited for this shade. The last one actually, the Tangerine Tea, I finished that very quickly. I don't know if I mentioned it actually, but I did hit pan on the Tangerine Tea literally days after I put it in the project. So there might have been less in it than I thought. Okay, this is one that I'm excited about actually. So. This is the 3CE Take a Layer Blush in the shade Diatima. I already had some pan in it, but since I've been like testing it out the past few weeks, I've hit this pan and then literally today I've hit this small pan up here. So I'm just going to talk about how I use it first. So basically, I don't like this blush. It's so orange on me, like it's actually straight up orange. And you can see that in the camera, but in real life, I feel like it looks a bit more rosy and I thought it was going to be kind of a brownie, a pinky brown rosy kind of color. I'll show you pictures so you can see what I mean because I thought that it would look a bit more pink on me but it is basically just completely orange and that does not suit me at all. So what I've been doing is I've actually been using it as an under eye corrector. 
The shade is probably too dark for me as an under eye corrector, but it still works fine. I've never really used an under eye corrector before, so I don't know if there's a huge difference. I think I notice a difference when I first apply it, but then by the end of the day, I feel like it kind of wears off and my eyes look the same as they would normally. But I've been enjoying using it this way and I'm just happy to repurpose a product that I didn't like otherwise. Like I'm very happy because I would have been so sad if it had gone to waste. The reason why there was pan on it already was because in the summer, I think, I don't know if you remember, but I had mixed it with these very cool toned lip products that didn't suit me and I used that mixture as a blush. So that's why there was a lot of progress on this already. And I'm surprised I used that much of it just by mixing it with other stuff. Also, this has an expiry date of the 21st of October this year. Even if I get it mostly finished by then, I'll be happy. The final product is actually an eyeshadow palette. So this is the M Cosmetics Divine Skies. I do actually have a pan on the shimmer. I do have quite a dip in the pink shade. So what my goal is for this is basically to use up all of the shimmers. There is, there is a lot of product in these pans. I don't know how successful I will be. But the thing is that I actually don't like this palette. I think I lied to myself for a long time because I coveted this for a long time. It did cost a lot with customs and all that. I don't love it as much as I wish I did because I thought when I got this, like, these are all perfect shades for me. They're all such my colors. They don't translate the same on my skin anyways as in the palette. On me, they just look very, very bright and it's unflattering. Also, the formula, I find the mattes very hard to blend. And then the shimmers are just so lackluster. I always have to add some other pretty sparkly shade, probably from Kaja, on top. I'm excited to tackle something challenging. So we have five new products coming in and two carrying over. I just want to briefly talk about my no-buy. So I am planning this year to go on a no-buy. I'm not sure if I will do it until my birthday, which is in October, or until Black Friday. I guess we'll see how it goes by in 10 months. You'll see my inventory, my numbers. So I don't have too much makeup. I don't have like crazy amounts of makeup, but like for me, it's kind of more than I would like. It's just a tad overwhelming. I feel like I would see things on sale and then I would buy them. And I don't know why. I just had this like kind of scarcity mindset because I got so much stuff from Boots on sale. And like Boots have sales all the time. There's stuff that I bought a few months ago that I still haven't even opened. I know I will get to them. But I don't think that's a good habit I, to have and I don't want that to be kind of my makeup mindset. So I don't think I will have to buy anything until then. I have everything I need for the next few months. So if I finished all of my foundations, which I don't think I will, I will buy a new one. But if I finish something like setting spray, that's not essential to me. So I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't replace it. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.